this uh, new tractor that's interim tier four engine emission that meets that. Uh, this tractor came in last Thursday, uh, so it's pretty fresh out of the factory. Uh, we, we talked a little bit about some of this equipment and, and the technology with global positioning, what it can do. For instance, a tractor like this today with a proper display in it and software activations, you could start out a field planting corn and teach it what you need to know or it needs to know at the end of the field. It will lift the planter out of the ground, turn the tractor around, put the planter back in the ground and go to the other end. And also when it gets to the other end, the planter will know when to turn off the rows so they don't plant across the already planted corn and you can sit there and watch all of that and not do anything. This tractor sells for close to 300,000. List price is 350 or more. It would have duels on the back, duels on the front. Uh, there are sensors on the front axle so it knows where it's steering. It's got all the equipment on it to, to be able to auto track. It also has a, a new thing called JD Link. So this tractor sends a message to a receiver that will send a message to the customer, the owner. It will also send a message to us if something goes wrong with this tractor or if it's maybe even being improperly operated or if it's taken out of a geographical area. Say uh, it's, uh, the farmer says it should stay within 30 mile radius and it goes outside of that, we'll get an alert saying that, hey, this tractor's moving where it's not supposed to be. It will track what time of day it starts, what time of day it stops, whether or not the guy that's driving it taking too, too long a lunch break. Uh, that is a, a free option with this tractor for one year. And if you buy an extended warranty on the tractor, you get that option for three years, but no fees. Most of your implements today require hydraulics to operate. Uh, for planters, it's a vacuum motor. It spins and creates a vacuum, uh, uh, raising and lowering a planter raising and lowering markers that tell you where you should plant. Uh, many operations like that are done by hydraulic today. I'd say it might come in the future where we do them electrically, but of course we don't have a plug-in out in the field. The tractor would have to generate the electricity. So today we're using hydraulic, and these are five different uh, plug-ins for five different operations that you might do. Other op, uh, plugins back here are return lines for hydraulic oil off of certain types of equipment. We've got a three-point hitch here in the back, this big hitch. You can back up to certain implements that only maybe hook into these bottom two hooks. Flip a lever up here and it locks it on. Right back here, it flips that in there and it can't get out. Uh, some of them will use all three links. You can see it's pretty massive. A regular hitch pin down below for pulling implements that are just uh, pull type implements. Rather large hitch pin. And they need to be that big for this type of horsepower we have today. Global positioning is what we're using today. Um, we've added some technology with uh, satellites from over in Russia so we have a better job of being able to know exactly where that is. But this, you know, we need to continue to improve that technology. Have uh, there are times that we may lose that signal for a half hour or may get weak. That hurts our productivity, so we need to continue to, to improve that option of that knowing exactly where that equipment is. Without that, many of this stuff will not work at all. So that is the heartbeat, global positioning. This new tractor today has an exhaust emission filter that filters uh, diesel particulates and other things. And uh, this is an interim tier four engine. This is a short term situation. It's following EPA mandates and uh, is very expensive, probably added sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars to the price. Not just this part of it, there's other things underneath the hood that help make this happen. Today our air is probably coming out of this engine not much different than it went in, maybe slight bit of, of uh, emission. Our next step is very soon and when we build those engines or John Deere, I should say, builds those engines, they will take in air and put it out of the engine cleaner than it went in. That is that's mandated by the EPA, so it won't only be John Deere manufacturing that way, it'll be all the trucks all over the road, uh, any branded tractor. 
They won't be able to build an engine unless it is that clean in emission. We'll be cleaning air while we work.